This case study is designed to help you understand eligibility requirements for the R&D tax incentive. Windwake has produced a range of software modelling products that it uses to provide wind farm consultancy services. Noting public concern about wind farm noise, Windwake searched the market for a software modelling product that it could use to more accurately predict wind farm noise. It found that existing noise modelling software was designed for aircraft noise and not very accurate, and Windwake decided to develop the software itself. Windwake tried to design the predictive algorithms that would power the software, but quickly ran into technical problems. The company's engineers and software developers didn't know any algorithms they could use. Windwake conducted thorough investigations and consulted experts in noise modelling, but couldn't find an answer. Windwake set about planning a body of work to experimentally develop the algorithms. The company reviewed the guidance material for the R&D tax incentive on the business.gov.au website and self-assessed that some of its experimental software development activities would be eligible. While Windwake knew that some of the work would be routine software development using existing skills and knowledge, developing the predictive algorithms in the model could not be done without experimenting. Windwake undertook a systematic progression of experimental work to develop algorithms to analyse the components and layout of the wind farm equipment, local landforms and objects and weather conditions to predict the intensity and coverage patterns of noise from wind farms. Windwake developed hypotheses about how these factors combined to produce particular patterns of noise and developed experimental algorithms to test these hypotheses. The predictions were tested against noise maps generated from a small existing historical set of wind farm noise data. The outcomes of these tests were evaluated and the hypotheses and algorithms progressively revised and improved. Through this experimentation, Windwake improved the prediction accuracy of the algorithms against the historical data until it was confident that its revised hypotheses about the causal factors were a good match. Windwake's systematic progression of experimental work included the four interrelated parts required by the R&D tax incentive. Hypothesis, experiment, observation and evaluation, and logical conclusions. Before Windwake could develop its new algorithms, it needed noise maps of wind farms. A small set of existing data was available, and Windwake used this to electronically generate noise maps. This activity did not require an experiment, and therefore couldn't be assessed as a core R&D activity. However, because the activity was directly related to the experimentation in core R&D activity 1, it was self-assessed by the company as a supporting R&D activity. Windwake undertook another progression of experimental work to extend the testing of the algorithms developed in core R&D activity 1. In this activity, Windwake tested the algorithms against maps of noise levels and local conditions recorded at a range of wind farms. While Windwake knew its algorithms now matched well against the small set of existing wind farm data, it could not be sure that they accurately predicted noise across the broad range of current wind farms without further testing. Predictions were generated by entering the relevant variables into the experimental algorithms and compared against the noise maps. The process followed the same pattern of hypothesis to experiment, observation, evaluation and drawing of logical conclusions that was used in core R&D activity 1. Before core R&D activity 2 was conducted, Windwake had to collect data from wind farms. To do this, the company set up an extensive network of noise meters and other measurement equipment at wind farm sites. The data was collated and used to generate noise maps of the various wind farms. While this activity was not itself an experimental activity, 
it directly provided the data that made the experimentation in core R&D activity 2 possible. For this reason, it was assessed by Windwake as being directly related to the core R&D activity and thereby eligible as a supporting R&D activity. Windwake kept documentation to verify the eligibility of its activities and substantiate its claim for the R&D tax incentive, including all of the relevant technical scoping documents, results of test runs of the algorithms, including failed tests where predictions were poor, an issues log that recorded detailed comments on the progress of the algorithm development, testing and improvement, including how the problem was identified, who worked on the solution and what solutions were tried. All key emails and correspondence, including those related to any related software development and code repository, slash pseudo-code tickets, proposed modelling systems and validation testing reports. Documentation of the methodology, results and analysis for the testing undertaken in the field and records of cost estimation for undertaking the R&D activities. In conclusion, by identifying core and supporting R&D activities, following the R&D tax incentive guidance and keeping records, Windwake was able to fulfil the eligibility requirements for the R&D tax incentive and move forward with their work. For more information, visit business.gov.au or call 132846.